recording, are we recording? Can I just have a time? Guys, all right, what's up, guys? Real Life Versa here. Um, we are back with another video. It's been a while since we've done a uh, just kind of a series um, breakdown, uh, but that's what we're doing here today. And um, we're going to talk about this Prime series here and see what it's all about. So we're going to look through the cards. Try like it. The pack I think just came out at eleven. Um, I think eleven my time. It's like eleven thirty one now for me. So we we'll, we'll see what what time it has on the cards. Um, that's an auction. That tell me everything I need to know. So, anyways, though, uh, we're gonna look at these cards, and um, usually they throw a series like this, a prime series with this many opals. I would expect this on like a Friday. So I'm imagining they're gonna drop a bunch more content on Friday. Then, if this is the case, um, but yeah, it's uh, good to see that we're getting some cards we actually want. Um, yeah, these are all I think, except Gary. Gary's just kind of a. a I mean, he's an NBA legend, but as far as, like, cards, people, I think, want. I don't think he's on that list. But, uh, you know, and then David Robinson, Tony Parker, these are already, both of these guys have token token rewards, uh, opals. So, these are kind of useless unless, well, not really useless because, like, guess a lot of people don't have token rewards. But, um, but this pink diamond probably is better than that opal. David Robinson, because uh, how old that Opal David Robinson was, it's been in the game since the game came out. So it would make sense why this card would probably be better in terms of stats. That David Robinson, though, has an Evo. So I'm sure after that Evo, this uh, Pink Diamond looks like trash. But And then this Tony Parker probably definitely does nowhere close to the other one. But yeah, let's go look. Let's look through them in the auction. Oh, let me do it like this. Let's go to. Where is it at? be under okay yeah we're just gonna have to like figure it out so so Kawhi Kawhi is that mystery card or Kawhi is part of this it's how much is this Luca, Luca going for that's a little older Lamar just looking at how much these cards are going for if if, if uh still heavy there's that Kawhi we're gonna look at him in just a second PG PG drop way down PG dropped way down. He was, like, going for a million for quite a minute. Obviously, I have no idea why. But, anyways, already Kawhi going for a million. This is kind of the same scenario with that Paul George card. Um, it's just, obviously, the name on the card makes it. Well, obviously, okay, right. So, a lot of people, you're more familiar with a player like Kawhi Leonard rather than older school players. You're not 100% sure on what they were good at. A lot of times, like, if you saw Steve Kerr card, you know one thing, he's going to be able to shoot. But you may not know how good he is on defense and all this stuff unless you watch him. So a lot of people are a little skeptical on old, like older cars. But like obviously superstars nowadays, like if they drop the James Harden, LeBron James, uh, like I said, just Kawhi, even drop Paul George, they'll go straight for a million. Even though the cars really aren't worth it at this point in the year to be paying a million for an opal of his caliber. But yeah, regardless, let's look at the car. Uh, 51 Hall of Fame badges. So obviously that is, um, I think this, compared to this prime Duran I have that was came out, I think a few months back, he has literally, what is it, three, 13 more badges, Hall of Fame badges now. So that's pretty, well, actually, actually, they almost have the same amount of badges. It's just, as you guys see, it took, like, he has less gold badges. So it's, it's not like, Durant has absolutely like none of the badges. He's just most some of his are in gold. But all right, so look at this Kawhi, straight up bees. Look at that post fade. Um, this, and that right there automatically um, makes him a pretty super solid power forward with a 98 post fade. So he really can do those post fades as if like he was a center. And then um, imagine if you get mismatches right. So you get mismatched on a guard. All you gotta do is post fade him up. And, and yeah, that's probably a book it every time. Um, and he's just really solid in the post and everything, post moves, post look even is nice. Uh, obviously, shooting is super solid. And the thing is, he's a small forward first, so he does still get those boosts. So he have 99 three-pointer, even though he really didn't even need it at a 98. So that's really solid. If you have a diamond coach, you, know, you will have a 90. Well, even I think if you have any coach, you would have a 99 three because I think all I, – I got I don't know. I'm not – I don't know. I know if you have a diamond coach, though, so you have a 99 three. Um, 
and your shot close goes up, and I think your perimeter defense goes up, and I forget the other two stats. The shot close, three point oh mid range goes up, and I cannot remember the last stat. But then so far, shot close, mid range, three point, all go by plus five. Perimeter defense, all go by plus five if you have a diamond coach. So keep that in mind. Um, I think most people should already know that by now, especially this point of year. But yeah, uh, three point ninety eight, so pretty solid. Driving duck ninety seven, uh, man. Playmaking it really shows you. Look, comparing it to a Durant car, his playmaking is really up. You know, this superb. Uh, except ball handle isn't that high, but it's obviously solid for a small four. It should do what you got to do. You shouldn't have to worry about losing a the ball there unless you're just being silly. Uh, defense obviously pure like now. This is what everyone was expecting. I'm actually highly surprised they didn't just go ahead and give him ninety nine on all of those stats. Um, because I don't think we're gonna get another Kawhi card. I really don't. This one right here seems solid enough. So I I am baffled that they did not just go ahead and give him ninety nine on all his defensive stats. So yeah, if you if you put a if you put a shoe on this card. Uh, I guess I guess he he can. I don't know if there's the one that goes raises interior defense and block, but I probably should be a diamond shoe card that does that. But if you do, I, that's what I was just just pinned on him. Speed uh super high to ninety seven. So that's that's like most guards are ninety seven still. Um, if you're not known to be a super quick guard, you probably are ninety seven speed at this point. So it means he's pretty pretty quick. Consistency, uh, he actually, I've never seen a card with a defensive consistency of 99, but not an offensive consistency, so that is actually crazy um, that, to see a defensive consistency of 99 without the offensive consistency being 99 as well, but that goes to show how good he is on defense. I'm sure he has every Hall of Fame defensive book in the badge of Ranger Center, just to point that out. Not going to really point them each out, but uh, uh, yeah, you should know the good ones and bad ones, but I'll point out some ones that uh, actually may be a little sneaky. Like I was, obviously that range extender is actually a little sneaky in there. Um, Dimer's nice to see. Rim protector, obviously. Chase down, obviously. Clamps, pick dodger, defensive leader. Those are pretty obvious. Interceptor, inter intimidator, lighter reflexes, uh, pretty obvious there. Rebound chaser. So it's not <coughs> oops. <coughs> nice to see that rebound chaser. Uh, post move lockdown. Uh, well, actually, that's actually a surprise to see there. But yeah, that actually just goes to show you that he can probably guard one through five. Um, so you don't have to worry about. Get switched up on Kawhi, uh, Dead Eye, Defay, consistent shooter, fence work, Giant Slayer. So nice to see that. Pro Touch, always nice to see that. Downhill, he will be quick. Quick first step. Uh, I, not too many. He didn't have catch and shoot. Corner special, difficult shot. Okay, absolutely not too many shooting badges, but he had the ones that mattered. Clutch shooter, fence. Yeah, he, he, he has. It just seemed like he was missing some of the shooting ones. Obviously, passer. Not. See, he, he's, he didn't have. A lot of playmaking badges. The best one I think I saw was Dimer. So right here we see finisher, teardropper, break star. So that's it's it's okay to see that, but uh hopefully he doesn't miss any passes with these badges being only gold. And his his accuracy and stuff was ninety four, but is that really high enough to be throwing all type of passes? Ankle breaker on gold too. That would've been nice. That would've been surprising Hall of Fame, but that would've been nice to see Bell out. Uh, near Thriller. So, a nice, a lot of solid stuff, but it's a lot of stuff I'm seeing on Gold that I would have loved to have held on Hall of Fame. But either way, regardless, he has so many Hall of Fame badges, it doesn't matter. Uh, he will play a phenomenal. So, yeah, definitely worth his weight in Gold. So, let's look at this George Gervin. Um, Gervin's been a kind of a staple in 2K, my team, uh, for years. We've always kind of known about him. Uh, and I, I really don't remember why exactly if it's, was it not, I don't think his release was that good but I think just 2k his just 2k cards are always great so 45 Hall of Fame badges so let's get to it solid post move uh, another um, basically shooting guard but you really probably most of the time most people play this card as small forward I really really see people actually use him as shooting guard um, but yeah nice to see uh, obviously he has some post moves in there Shooting is nice, but the biggest problem I see right now is that three ball, even with a diamond shoe, his three ball will be only be a 90. Uh, if you add a shoe on him, he can have a 99 three ball, but that takes a lot, right? So with a with a diamond shoe, he will only have a 96. And if you give him a three ball shoe, he'll be a 99 then, but that is a lot of, um, a lot of work you got to do for that. So... 
Um, yeah, so just just keep that in mind. It's one of the lowest threes I've seen out of the cards that come out this late. That's like an opal. That's like a, the three of a center, I would expect. So it's weird to see it on this George Gervin card, but whatever, uh, driving dunk, solid, standing dunk, pretty high. Uh, he probably get some small standing dunks here and there. Uh, yeah, but cool. I th even his direction looks almost a little bit better. I think the only thing, obviously, post moves is a little bit higher for uh, Gervin, but... Often that cloud looks slightly a little bit better though. Um, playmaking that cloud is a lot better. Uh, but playmaking is really low for this card. It being in the 80s, accuracy wise, and ball handle only 89. So they really did them a little dirty this year. Uh, uh and, and you know, six seven. I don't know. I don't know why they're doing them so dirty. Block, uh, pretty pretty solid. Defense is pretty solid, but uh, it still is a little low. But it's okay. It's pretty solid defense you would expect from Opal this point of the year. I don't, I don't really see anything to complain about there. But just some stats look just a little bit low. Could be a little bit higher. Rebound is solid. Uh, speed is solid. But obviously, looking at this car face up, Mike Clyde looks actually better than his George Gervin. So I hope it's let's, let's check his price after this. Uh, consistency uh, is pretty normal for a. Oh, I was just expecting an Opal at this point in the year to have a little bit more. Boost obviously has the more Hall of Fame badges, which will come into play, but catch a shoe, Hall of Fame, corner specialist, difficult shots, teardropper, range extender, and I see that. Everyone pretty much has range extender and quick draw Hall of Fame. So those are like automatically two badges you can expect to see with almost everybody. Obviously the finisher. So yeah, even though he didn't have the highest, wait, what was his driving dunk? Wait, his driving dunk wasn't even... Max, right? It was only 97. Well, it's pretty high, but only 97. Uh, clamps, nice see, intercepted. A lot of defense here, badges. So his defense would play a little bit better than his stats reflect, but um, still. Um, uh, handles for days, Giant Slayer, Protest Dream. I, see, I did not see a lot of badges I'm really looking for. Wait, did I see deep hooks? Like, why would, why would I need deep hooks on this card, honestly? That makes no sense. Uh, yeah. Let's see, clamp. Okay. Everything seems okay here. Hot zone, hot start. Ice in phase. It's okay. Looks solid. Uh, not definitely a card I definitely would pick up, but it looks solid. Um, hopefully his price really goes down right now. That is definitely not worth it. He should. He may even be a buy down within a week. Hopefully. I just hope people are still paying 200 um, for him, I know right now these are our first people ever buying this card, so the price will reflect that. But uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully his price drops drastically soon in the next two three days. Just, just, just a he's a pretty standard open. Nothing, nothing outstanding. Nothing, nothing besides the more badges than normal. But other than that, it, I mean, pretty standard. Let's just pain. See what he got. Uh, every card nowadays seems to have a little post fade with him, but yeah, he has a little post fade on him, post moves, right? All that good stuff in the 80s, so it's pretty solid for a guard. I mean, you can always, you know, pull it out anytime. So, uh, it, it's it's if you're in the high 80s to 90s, uh, yeah, it's pretty solid. You can pretty much surprise somebody with one of these post fades or so. Um, and going to shooting, pretty solid there to 96. So, nice to see. And he does have 99 shooting with the diamond coach driving dunk. I wish would have been a little bit higher, but 85 is oof. that's okay. But uh, 80, I haven't seen 85 since like pink diamonds, right? It's pink diamonds used to have like 85 driving dunk, even yeah. So it, I don't know, I don't know what to say about that one. It should be okay. You still get sneaky dunks in, but you won't be posting nobody. I'll tell you that. Um, Ball handle really solid, really crazy high playmaking skills right there. 98, 98 again for accuracy in it. IQ 97. Defense real. I, I already expect this lockdown. Like, look at this lockdown. Steel perimeter. Even interior is a 90. So you block 85. True, true lockdown right here. And you, you with a 90 interior, even you won't even have to worry about center switching up on you. They may be able to bag you down, but if you time it just right, you should you should be able to stop a center with ease. Um, rebound is really high as well. So he, he has a lot of stuff. I can tell you right now for a guard, this is what sets him a little bit above some of the other ones. 
He has a lot of stuff that really makes him better, right? Rebounding right here is not always important if is at the guard spot. You really can have like a zero rebounding at the guard, but it sometimes is nice because he may get rebounds that, you know, some, the opponent might have gotten if he didn't have a good enough rebound. So it's sometimes nice to see those high rebound guards. Not always as important as obviously other positions, but it's still good. They potentially can help you in the game. Um, and obviously it's nice to see one with high interior defense and post moves. So those are always some stats that you can live without, of course. But it's always nice to see him on us on these guards because it, it just adds a little extra flavor to him. 98 speed, so it uh, sucks that he's not 99, but 98, you won't really notice the difference, to be honest with you. Um, but vertical strength, um, so I see 96, 98 strength, sorry. Uh, right there, that, that really goes and shows me that he really won't get bullied by center. So 98 strength with a 90 interior defense, that is pretty solid. 98 defensive consistency, even, you know, even more to how much he's going to be unstoppable on defense. And then 98 offensive consistency. So a lot of defensive cards, dude. This Kawhi, Gary Payne, which we expected through the, both the defensive um, at Dimer. So hopefully he has all the guard badges. Um, contact finish with Deadeye. Oh, I haven't. I don't think I seen, saw Deadeye on Kawhi, if I remember. I definitely didn't see it on Gervin. Bell out, I see that. Is he have? I did not see ankle breaker. Did not see no ankle breaker in there. Lot of, I see all the defensive badges. Wait, I don't even know. Does he catch a shoot right? Okay, I, difficult shots. I didn't see. I did not see corner specialist, which would make sense, but that was also suck. Oh, it's on gold. Okay, pull back. Oh, yeah, it's a pull back. Boss is gonna be funny. Um, break star and I see. Okay, my stress level. Okay, so I, I'm just I don't know some of those badges. I feel like he's lacking a few badges, but obviously he still should be a solid card. Um, see, I come. This is one of the cards I'm more so looking to get. Or that Jim Worth and Beta is he? Okay, there he is. I saw. Him. So 43, as you can tell, you can tell the level of the Opal, basically by looking at the badges, you can tell like how good a card is um, at this point in the year by badges, right? That's your indicator of skill level between the Opals. They're all Opals, quote unquote, so they also perform at the highest level. But it, when you look at that, for the best Opals, obviously you got to look at those badges because Kawhi had 51. Every else has had less than 51. If you actually look at Kawhi's stats, Kawhi had the best stats, right? So, uh, makes sense here. Power four first. Can you play small four? Yeah, he can't play small four. I see that. 66 six, 9, I was going to say. I was going to say 69 when I saw that 6 9. Um, yeah, so 99 is obviously, I mean, every card at this point has 99 overall defense and you know, offense. So, no surprise there. Post fat. It surprises me that we've seen, I think, Gervin and Kawhi had better post stats than this. Even that Payton had like 89, right? Was in a high, high, like pretty close to these Siakam stats, which already is a kind of a turnoff on that. But uh, yeah, I guess Siakam hasn't been the biggest post player, but yeah, it sucks to, to just kind of not have that on my power forward. Um, like I said, okay, with the end, he is a power four first, so he does not get a plus three on his shooting with even a diamond coat. So his three ball is stuck at 95, which is solid. It is pretty solid. You don't have to really worry about that. Um, put a shoe on him. He'd be at 98, so even better. Um, driving dunk looks solid. Dry standing dunks even. like that, That's it. That's what you really want to see on a card. There's only 6'9 at the four spot. is a really high standard dunk. So we know he won't get... We know if he's under the rim, he will probably still um, dunk over a lot of the defenders. Even though he's only 6'9. So it's still pretty solid to see there. Ball handle. And I would just... I really hope this would have been a little bit higher. I'm expecting too much from a Siakam card. But I really wish this ball handle would be a little bit higher. Playmaking. I wish that was just a slight tidge bit higher. Uh... Defense, obviously, we know he's going to be a force on defense. Really solid defender here. Um, pretty close to Kawhi um, in terms of defense. Um, and he does get, a, I think, a, a boost on interior defense at the four. So, that's the 99. 
rebounding solid. I think he gets a boost on deep uh, rebounding too. I think it's defensive rebounding with the diamond coach. Uh, 94 speed. So solid. He's pretty quick. Uh, not the quickest. This is only 6 dollars I want to see him a little bit faster. Because so out it literally he has the worst out of all the defensive cards, he has the worst defensive consistency we've seen at on this prime set. So that that kind of sucks. So see only a ninety five when everyone else was at like ninety nine, ninety eight on defense consistency. So that sucks to see. And like you said, like I said, you it, there as it's, it's the badges go down, the you know their stats go down really. Uh, but let's look at those badges. Kansas shoot court specials. Nice to see those pick and pop. So yeah, these FC is gonna be a knockdown with these badges to help that ninety five three. Range extender, quick draw, rim protector. So clamps. He's like, he's like, he has a bunch of catch and shoot type badges and defensive badges, which you expected. Quick first step. Nice to see that. Uh, contact Fisher also nice to see that when his his driving dunk was only what ninety. So he, nice to see those extra badges. There, felt like we finished those really quick. Felt like we ran out of Hall of Fame badges really quick. Yes, yeah, so, so his badges fit him, his play style. So it's like, see, let's check out the gold. Lee Paz, Bailout, Dream Shake, Cannon's New Filler, uh, Moving Truck, Dead Eye. I see a little, even if, even on gold, I'll take a Dead Eye. Dimer, even on gold, I'll take a Dimer. Break Starter, Fester. Yeah, I'll take it. Some of these badges, even as long as it's there, I'll take it. Even if it's on gold or whatever. Okay. So Siakam, solid. Um, last but not least, Joel Embiid. Now, this is the card I'm looking to get. Um, I got to wait for his price to drop. I almost can afford him. But yeah, so I, I've been really looking for a center, and I think a lot of people have been looking for centers. Um, and I ha I have his um, pink diamond rewards card, and this card plays phenomenal. So I am not hesitant at all to drop a solid penny on a on an opal MB. So that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, now he might potentially be the best. Uh, he might potentially be the best center right now so i gotta look i gotta look back at the list and see um hakeem hakeem was up there uh kareem the opal kareem was up there a few of the cards that you can rarely get i think um i can't remember the list i was on mt central and they had it um so yeah that list was pretty solid um but i gotta see where he stacks up now 46 hall of fame badges so we know he's a little bit better than at least at, um Sok siakam so um, post moves, obviously nice to see, uh, 96, pretty standard there, post player, um, so already, look, I just, he just looks nice already, let's look at these stats already, just everything's above 90, as soon as I open up the page, above 90, right, above mid 90 to be exact, three ball, so, 94, it does not get a boost with the diamond coach, so that's the, that's the first thing I'm gonna look at, but obviously, uh, at the center, that is solid enough for me. I'm not gonna worry about it. You don't need a 99 at the center spot. I enjoy seeing a 99, but you're never gonna get that unless their three ball is like a 96, and then you put like a diamond shoe on them. So it's very rare to get it. So that's what I'm gonna have to do with them. Put a three ball on them, just make them a little bit more effective. Um, but that's his only weakness is not being like having max three, which is that really much of a weakness if that high up. All right, so. Literally on offense, look at this. What can he do? Pretty much solid all around. 98 standard dunk, driving dunk. Playback is a little bit low for a center, but just don't do anything crazy. You should be fine, to my opinion. Seven footer, right? A lockdown on defense. Looks like um, even perimeter defense is solid. Skills, how solid block and interior are both 98. Really good there. Rebounding, I, I'm. I'm baffled as why no one has 99 rebound, 98 rebound anymore. What is up with that? Why is why I've, I think even older, I've seen older cars with better rebounding than these. So that's kind of weird. I've seen I've seen older cars with like 99 rebound, but these new opals don't. Right, sorry, my throat still dry. 90, so pretty quick there for a seven footer. 90. Wait, can I compare them to? Yes. I can. 
compare them to his old one. So let me actually go back up in just a second. But Speed 90 uh, went way up from his older car. And that older car felt a little bit quick too. 92 speed, so he's really quick. Vertical's really as high up there. Lateral quickness is phenomenal. Uh, defense, so 98 for all, both consistencies. Um, and yeah, everything else looks I don't think, was there any, okay, lateral quickness. So was there any stat below 80? Still lateral quickness in his playmaking. Only stats below 80. I mean, in 80, right? Below 90, I mean. So comparing him to his older car, yeah, he is definitely a much, much better player. Free throw went up. Driving duck went up. Playmaking went way up. And I didn't really notice his playmaking when I was using him. At the pink diamond, so when just he should play way his passes should be way more crisp. The pass accuracy means a lot of things, and it also means the speed. I think of your passes as well. So some some passes are easy to steal when you have worse cars because worse cars pass slower. So sometimes it's better to have those um, really good playmaking cars. So yeah, he just looks like a whole different player compared to his um, older one, his pink diamond. Which is a lot, because that car was looking nice when I first got him. So, yeah. Really solid here. Yeah, he's definitely a car we're looking to get. Uh, should do his job at the center. It looks like he can do his job anywhere, honestly. Uh, he can. Well, can okay, he play the four? Yeah, looks solid. Okay, so, solid car here. Uh, yeah. Can't wait to get my hands on it. And then we do some gameplay of it. And let me actually. Let me really quickly. We we we. I really don't care about them enough to really do it, but we will do it for you guys really fast. We look at the other ones. Tony Parker here. They're already obviously by now. Look look at look. He might be under ten thousand real soon. So really solid. Uh, shooting shooting looks solid. Driving dunk is a little low. Wish it was at least. J Parker. Well, I know I'm thinking Ginobili that was the one dunking. Parker. I guess sixty five is good enough. Uh, yeah, you, you're only going to be dunking on open breaks, though, so that's about it for him. Uh, playmaking, solid. Playmaking is a little bit low, even for a diamond card. I would expect them to at least be at 90 for both of those stat, all three of those stats. Uh, defense, uh, okay for perimeter, solid for oh, diamond card. Speed, 94, so we saw, I think that, it, that, wasn't that? Gert, one of those other cars was like 94 speed, so it goes to show you that even if you're like a small forward, like a power forward, and your speed is 94, that is pretty much a guard speed in older older times, right? So 23 Hall of Fame, catch and shoot range center, two dropper, big step dimer downhill. I feel like the less badges you have, the more like the the more like specific they are to your playstyle. So these all seem a little bit more specific to his playstyle. Uh, yeah, so nice to see that on there. Nine, so, he was more offense than defense, of course. Uh, but, yeah, so, solid guard if you need one. And you're still, you know, playing with diamonds. Really solid. I think you can probably find some faster diamonds, though. But, yeah, still, regardless, pretty solid card, in my opinion. He would have definitely been. If I could have got him for a fair price when I still had diamonds, I would have definitely had him on my team. And who else was the other card we Oh, Dave Roberts, yeah. As you can already tell, he's the highest pink diamond car, right? This is, this Eddie Curry is the pink diamond, so he's the highest. I don't know if it's in order of anything, but he is definitely uh, the highest on here. So, I bet, I guarantee he has 99 rebounder. Oh, no, I lied. I thought he was going to have some high rebounder. But anyways, so, uh, for a pink diamond. Looking at the stats. I, and obviously, just go back to look at those um, MB stats, right? MB had like 90 everything as soon as you opened up the stats, right? So, attributes here, uh, solid post fade. Um, he has a, he has a mid-range. Three balls, 86. Uh, pretty, um, at this point in the year, it's not the best. Um, but obviously, if we go back a couple months, that would have been pretty solid. So, if you can still pretty much be effective with this card... He was still, I've, I've, I've always hated David Robinson's because they always seemed consistent on the three ball. I, I don't know why. Their three balls are never that high, but he always just seems too consistent when he shoots threes, like like for his center, right? Just too consistent. But this card really could do it all. If you ever watched him play, I think he had, he was like the last per player that had a quadruple double. He was a really phenomenal player. Um, 
Send a dunk pretty ninety, driving dunk ninety. Uh yeah, ball hand play no no playmaking whatsoever. Uh but you don't really need that. He's really like a post up catch and shoot type center. Uh but looking at his post stats aren't it's really kind of lacking his post stats and he's great on defense. Solid defender. Um rebounding. Rebounding's a little low. Like compare him to his Chris Rebbers rebounding. I don't know. I feel like this rebound is way too low. Speed is kind of quick though, so we know that. But in comparing badges, yeah, he, he's not even supposed to be like a a buffed up center. But if you catch, like, hopefully this card is selling. You know, he needs to go way lower than that. You catch this card at a fair price. I I don't even want to look at his stats because this is one of those cards that play. They play much better outside of stats. So if you, yeah, here we go, here we go, seventy. If you catch this card for like under fifty k. It's probably worth it to me if you if you're still like on pink diamonds and stuff. It's definitely worth it. For like forty k, fifty k, uh, yeah, I, I would scoop this card up. Yep, I w I would definitely like right now if I didn't if he would be of use to my team, I would definitely scoop him up. For f yeah, forty. If I see a thirty, I might I might quick sell it because <laughs> his price right now is gonna be lower than. It's gonna be lower than yeah thirty nine yeah if you yeah go go get this card man thirty if you see it for thirty go get this card yeah really solid really solid center for a uh, I already gonna tell you I promise you man he'll play he play much better than his stats would show I won't even look get into his badges I I just know how that card is man he he play much he play out his shoe but yeah let's hopefully hopefully within this next day or so we can get that in bead. And we can make some moves with our team, right? We think, I think this is this is the direction we're going. And then we'll have wait. we have, this will be the Opal um, MB. So this will have to be our team. If we can get our hands on him, um, and then we have a solid. We just have a solid. We have a solid bench. So our one, two, three on our bench would be Opals, uh, Siakam and Weber should be a great combo. And then really soon we will. We're saving up our token, right? We're take. We're saving up our token rewards, and I think I'm really looking at. Wait, where's it at? I'm really looking into this. John Morant, oh man, every time I see that card, it makes me want to get him. I'm from um, Memphis, and um, you know, obviously, I'm, I grew up a Grizzlies fan, so it was really nice to see him on the Grizzlies. And um, I the college I go to, we had a rival school of Murray State, and uh, I used to watch John play while he was in college, so really, really big fan of his. Um, so yeah, but just I just have too many guards right now for me to pin him on my team, but it would have loved to pin him on my team. Uh, we're so we're looking to get like I said we have too many guards to shoot guards, uh, but obviously these cards are both phenomenal. So I wish I sometimes wish I could grit them, uh, but we really need some like a shooting guard. Josh Smith has always played phenomenal on 2K. Um, yeah, look at those stats. Solid, solid defender. It's phenomenal defender. Let me say that. Speed really solid. Yeah, solid. Stoudemire, what is, what's his badges looking like here? They're 43, so it, it goes to show you, looking at those badges, there are clear indicators of the difference between these cards. And Stoudemire is way newer. You're going to look at his stats. You can tell he's a little bit better. Speed, he's even quicker than Josh Smith. So we're looking to get this DeMar, but also because we had the Pink Diamond DeMar, and that Pink Diamond DeMar played out of its box, man. So we just wanted to get a new Demar. Just Tim Duncan knows is, is he's he's pretty interested in getting him as well. It's just three balls, but I don't like it's just I wish it was like at least a ninety two at the least. That would have been nice. So see like now here we go. A solid rebounder right there. Look at that solid rebound. It looks slow though for eighty only eighty five. Really kind of slow. I wish I could see I'm gonna have to go online, look at his new updated stats. He has updated stats, so it's he should have a, you know, I don't, and I don't even know what it takes to evolve this card. But obviously, wait, let me go back. Let me go back. He still, no, still better post phase and all. He still has better post moves. Um, In the same three ball as that pink diamond one. 
I think that Pink Diamond had better playmaking. No, the Pink Diamond had worse playmaking, about the same playmaking. Um, the Pink Diamond had better. No, they had the same. The Pink Diamond looks exactly like they had pretty much the same. The Pink Diamond had worse rebounding. His rebound was like eighty something. Pink Diamond's speed was was it eighty four two? It feels their stats look very similar. Pink Diamond is older Opal. So I'm looking to get Demar. I went. I was once also looking to Tim, but that Tim doesn't look as good as I thought. That David Robinson. I don't want to know if I really want to upgrade him, but I think probably if I did, I would go for maybe that up Stoudemire. Let me think of this. All right, yeah, that video's way too long because it is. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. We do these all the time. Once the new series comes, I think Friday we'll get another one. So if you if you enjoy me looking at these cards, I kind of give my own. Um, like thoughts and opinions on them because I know how some of these cards stats reflect in the game and I know how the badges add. you know badges will make a player you know much more more than his stats show so you gotta you know keep that in mind as well so I tried to give my own knowledge into it and I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did leave a comment leave a like if you really want to see more hit that subscribe button real diversity we're out